Welcome to Elm Creek. You're here with Iron Farming. Episode 1. Went out and started a new map, new game on this map. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go through and just have a lot of fun. Um, got some different equipment than, you know, base game startup. A um, little bit of shed in the back here. Let's uh, let's worry about checking out the farm entirely later, uh, and let's get into it. Um, I've got two fields ready to harvest, and one that is ready for some herbicide. Um, and two fields that need to either be cultivated or just sown in the spring. A thousand bucks in the bank. And a little bit of crop in the silos. We're gonna try to hang on to those as long as we can to get um, to get ourselves some some money rolling in. Um, see what we can do from there. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get things squared away and keep things running, and then uh, go from here. All right, we got the John Deere started up. We got the S550. Um, gonna jump in the styre. We don't need this big of a tractor, um, but we do need this grain header. So let's get her started up and uh, we'll get the grain header pulled out. Um, <clears throat> get it over by the field, get the John Deere set up so that way we can uh, get one of these fields harvested. Um, and we also need to go get spraying um, uh, with a thousand bucks in the bank. We don't have a ton of money to play around with. So we're going to be very cautious as to what uh, what we spend. I think I'm just going to take and put the header kind of right outside the door for the John Deere. We'll uh, hop in a little tight. We'll hop in the John Deere and Go get this field harvested. I do need to get that other field sprayed before it becomes fully mature. So, um, let go. Sticky header trailers, man. I tell you what. I'm dropping everything here real quick. Unfold the harvester. Unfold the harvester again. I don't have a baler, so we're probably not gonna drop straw. I could, no, I could not. Definitely not gonna be able to lease a header. Um, don't have enough money to lease a header. Are we dropping straw? Yes. Wrong button. All right, got to check. Um, disable straw. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this field harvested. We'll get this crop stored in the silo over there. And um, we'll check to see what the current value is and go from there. Um, eventually, I wouldn't mind getting into some animals. Um, I think we might try to get some chickens. Um, chickens are a great way to make money, and they're an easy, easy animal to start with. Uh, I do eventually want to get into cows and kind of, you know, get dairy on the roll. Um, but really, I just want to get moving. Now, I am going to play with seasons. Um, Two-day seasons to start with, and then go from there. I don't think I'm going to ever increase it, um, and I doubt I'll ever decrease it, but we'll see. So, let me get this field harvested. Um, I'll probably throw it on a little bit of a quick time lapse, just so that way um, you guys can stay with me and and we can see what happens.
that did not quite work out the way I had anticipated by any means. Um, it is what it is. Uh, got a little bit of work to do on that, and I think I need to get myself a smaller, um, a smaller trailer, because currently all we have is that big boy. So I think about picking up a little bit of a. I don't know. I guess it's kind of like a uh, an auger trailer, an auger wagon. Um, just so that way, when I'm running around the farm doing these little fields, I can bring it back here and not have to sell right away. Um, I need some row crop tires. Otherwise, I'm going to destroy this field with these big beastly guys on this Massey. Let's hope we've got enough in the bank. Otherwise, we're going to sell some crap pretty much right away. Um, I have a feeling we are not going to have enough Of course, we are literally a dollar short. Okay. Um, well, I'm not going to lose a majority of the crop in that field. Because I don't have the correct tires. So, change of plans. Let's uh, kind of get this pulled up out of the way a little bit here. Let's hop in the Mac. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's go see what we can get for the corn and or the soybeans. Well, I do have the transportation mod installed. So let's see what we can get if we have enough of anything. Corn, about 45,000 liters. I don't have that much corn. I don't have anything else. Okay. So let's check corn prices. It's actually not terrible. Or sorry, soybean prices. Gold crest. Don't want to mess around with gold crest. Let's just take it to feeding grain south need something. I think that'll be about twenty three hundred dollars. That'll be about twenty three hundred bucks. So twenty six hundred bucks maybe. So let's get this out of the barn here real quick. We'll run this over to our second auger, which is gonna be the auger that brings it out, and we'll just throw it in the first one to start with. Start filling, let's go soy. We'll let this fill real quick. Um, run it down to the feed mill and see what we got. All right. I think that's everything. Yep. Uh, let me get rid of the F1 menu too. All right. So let's run this down to feed and grain south. Um, kind of going out of here the wrong way. Never gonna make that turn. That dip is too aggressive for this truck. We're gonna have to go out the main driveway. Um, and head over there. Get some lights on for the travel. All right. Here we go. Let's uh maybe we'll go from first person. See if we can remember all of our turn signals too.
Alright. I love the addition of deer to farming simulator. We'll um we'll take this down there. We've got that sorghum field that we need to spray. Um got another field to harvest. I believe the second field is oat. Um and we just did some barley. So um we'll get all that uh harvested and then we'll get this uh we'll get this trailer of soybean delivered and uh go from there. A little laggy down here. I don't think I've been down here yet. Alright, well, here we are. Ah, I don't remember any of the controls. Um, They should bring in a good 20,000 bucks. We should be able to then get the crow crops on the Massey, and we'll burn through this 27, 2,800 bucks. All right, let's get the cover back on there, get the F1 menu closed, and let's head back to the farm. Let's get that Massey going. Um, I was hoping to save the majority of these crops for winter when we're going to be needing some of this stuff to sell. Um, we'll have no income coming in at that point and not a lot of work to do. So let me get back to the, the field, um, get the row crops on the Massey and uh, get going. All right, so we're out at the field. A little bit of sorghum here. Um, I think what I'm going to do once I get this field and that field harvested is I'm going to plow a lot of these fields together. Um, mostly just to uh, you know increase production of the fields that we have as well as... Um, make better use of the land that we have um, a higher crop yield is definitely going to give us a boost in the financial department so um, I do want to buy the next couple of fields to our south next I believe um, kind of as far as the um, the collectibles go don't really think I'm going to go through and get the collectibles. Um, not because it's cheating, because it's, you know, it's part of the game, so it's not. Um, but I do find it pretty easy um, once you get the collectibles to just get what you need and expand into a larger amount. Now, I know I start off with a lot of equipment and not the base game stuff, but I um, kind of prefer to start with some stuff that's not just base game. Mostly just because then it's fun to use stuff that's, you know, I got 70 hours on my other map and the first 40 are without a good set of decent mods and then um, started getting mods in and started using mods and it's, well, you know, it's kind of what makes the game, at least half the game in my eyes, uh, you know, mods are great. So um, let me get the, the rest of this sorghum field. Um, sprayed and then what we'll do is we'll come back and uh, we'll get this field to my uh, east here harvested and then we'll uh, we'll move on to getting everything plowed together um, you'll see some plowing in this video today um, that way we can kind of just get everything squared away and 
um, get things finished up um, uh, and uh, you know get this farm really out of roll okay so we got that other field to harvest we just got done doing the herbicide um, I did however make a decision um, <clears throat> trying to unload that harvester is going to be a pain in the neck into that auger so I picked up a cheap as you can tell um, trailer 8,000 liter capacity so um, should be big enough yet small enough where one it didn't break the bank and two um, it's not going to be overpowered um, I do think maybe the uh, size of trailer and semi right now are a little overboard but hopefully this looks up sweet it does so let's take this back to the farm um, see if we can get that other field harvested and uh, get this uh, get this job going here don't know if the harvester is going to fit that area or not. We might have to take the header off. We might not. So let's um, let's just sing around and swing around and see. Um, that trailer is definitely going to help us in the long run. Once we, um, once we get all these fields harvested and the grain stored, we'll... Um, have to work on getting the farm ready for planting in the first part of next year. So hopefully we'll be able to get this squared away here, um, keep moving with the farm and expand. I don't entirely know too much about what my future plans are coming up, but I, I will say I'm going to do what I can to get as many videos done and out as often as I can. Um, you know just really here to have some fun. I think um, making the video is, is really just going to be a, a fun thing for me to do and kind of just keep myself sane. <laughs> this last year has been, last couple years have been crazy. So let's get this harvested. I'll probably slap it on another time lapse. It's not a massive field, but it is going to take me a few minutes to get this done. Don't have the biggest header. Um, nor the biggest combine but we can always work towards bigger and bigger um, again I'd love to become a uh, corn and soybean a little bit of oat field and some grass I'd love to do I'd love to do some dairy so we'll get in some chickens here probably soon and we'll have some feed for them with the barley so let's uh, let's get it going
harvest is finished for the day. Um, we still got the sorghum, sorghum to harvest um, and get that squared away. We got a little bit of oat to clean up over here. Um, next video we'll get um, sorghum harvested. We'll start getting the fields prepped for next season. Um, make sure everything is good. Check the contracts and go from there. Um, thanks for watching this video from me, Iron Farming on Elm Creek.